Hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all that good stuff. Uh, a little bit late today, uh, got a busy morning and it's Sunday so it's kind of a quiet day but we got some interesting stuff this week. Uh, maybe this couple of weeks AMD has been very busy busy. Um, we got some uh, like the chipset stuff from A the A620 uh, from AM5 uh, motherboards. Um, at the moment it seems it doesn't support 65 watts plus cpus which means the x versions and the free uh the free d cache ones except for the 7800 x3d i think it's uh, 65 watts i think and the non x versions uh, are also uh, 65 or below so um as i've been mentioning uh it's uh, th these are uh, are very good boards for entry level uh, gaming even from productivity wise because e even though they are very very uh, kind of low tier uh, they, they manage to have some interesting um, inter interesting um, uh, how do I say it uh, qualities uh, regarding and some features that uh, we can use it um, as uh, productivity and uh, even gaming workloads um, as you can see here the we have uh, still plenty of PCI uh, lanes. They don't, uh, of course, uh, support the PCI 5 uh, SSDs and everything, all that uh, high tier thing, but, and no overclocking, but you can overclock the AMD Expo, which is the, the, the RAM itself, which is good. We got uh, for at least one, one um, GPU, so the 16 <laughs> PCI Express 4, which is, uh, <laughs> more than okay and we got uh, usually between one to two uh, pci express the the normal ones um this 32 line sush it's more than enough for the gpu and the two uh and uh, uh, ssds and vm 2e sorry i always confuse this the ordering the numbers and the, the letters of the, the those ssds uh, and usually for set of ports, usually it's good enough. Uh, the only thing that in terms of USB that doesn't support is the USB 20 gigabytes. But uh, this this is also something that I always make the, the monoculture of the USB stuff. It's very, very hard for me. I know USB free 10 gigabytes. I don't know if it is the 3.2 or 3.1 or whatever it is. But uh, at least we have two of each. This is uh, USB free. Uh, version free whatever they want to call it um got some spec sheets here uh, suppose supposedly it's to start as uh, below as 85 dollars but the, from um the ports that came out in terms of uh, european market that's the ones that we have like the the prices uh, they seem comparable to usd a little bit more than the, the 85 dollars i think as rock has one very 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 basic at this price point but we need to see uh, they didn't did a, a big uh, party when launching these things but we have this at least these five uh, boards which are usually the usual suspects here i think msi will be the better value as rock sometimes in the power delivery stuff the the the, 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 the mosfets and everything usually it's a little bit weaker um, but uh, usually MSI has been, at least in AM5 platforms, the best ones on power delivery. But even though you are not going to need uh, a lot of power delivery because you cannot overclock it. So it's not, I suppose it's not going to be a big issue regarding this, uh, this situation. Uh, as you can see, we got all the, the diagram for, for uh, what it supports. It doesn't support here. Um, and we you can kind of... Uh, have like this kind of configurations um but yeah uh, i will pass through this um and yeah then we got the the disclaimers uh, i will leave a link on the description so you uh, if you want to read with more uh with more detail uh but yeah usually it's going to be a, an entry level it's going to be more than enough for you to do the like the entry level stuff usually even the b the 650 it's more than good enough for for everything that you need to do unless you are going to do very specific productivity workloads where you need a, a, that pci express uh, 5 for the, the ssd stuff and even like a lot of overclocking and a lot of uh, usb stuff that you need to plug there uh, but regardless i think the a620 is going to be the mainstream thing for this generation at least the entry level 
and continue with the AMD we got some uh, leaked benchmarks from the RX 6076 m XT GPU which is from laptops supposedly it matches the 4060 laptop from because they mention a lot of 4060 sometimes they mention that is the laptop in others they don't mention specifically that is the, the laptop but AMD uh, this is the maximum one that they're going to launch at least for now for the laptop the, in terms of GPUs um, we have here the, their kind of performance wise the, um, it matches basically in terms of uh, performance even though the older uh, 68, uh, 6800M it's uh, in the previous generation it's way better but it takes a lot more power and I think the I think for, for laptops <laughs> If you, do, you because you are constrained on power delivery, you, you have to juggle a little bit more. I think they are going to try to balance out AMD regarding this this stuff. So it's going to be like I think they are playing in the laptop area, uh, going for mainstream stuff here. Um, this is like the high end. I think the this one should be good enough. The 60 the M version without the so the non XT version from the 66 uh, 7600 M um gpu um but yeah well, i don't know geforce here and video with their uh, rtx 40 series for laptop the, it's a mess uh, everything is very well way cut down i think the naming scheme is completely off they don't even put an m or or anything like that because even like the dice here as you can see it's not the same one as the um, as the uh, desktop GPU, so it's a, it's a mess all over the place with when Nvidia they they just trying to fool people, thinking they're going to buy a five thousand dollars laptop with a forty ninety. It's going to have like a performance of a, between a forty eight and a forty seventy desktop, give or take, if that much. Um, at least is at least is what I'm getting from from all the things that I've been seeing around here. Um, <laughs> yesterday was april fool's day i will leave here just a few things here that uh, caught my attention uh, i saw this live going live like uh, fanless fans uh, razor razors <laughs> mouse razor razors uh, but yeah it, it's some funny stuff here and uh, to finish up here for from hardware um taking into account the a60 uh, 620 motherboards i'm sorry today is very difficult for me to read to read out the, the numbering scheme um should be around now around 400 dollars like uh, basic uh, entry level stuff so the motherboard the cpu and the memory uh the the the, the ram is coming down in um, uh, little by little which is very good signs uh i just hope when they launch the 7800 x3d the, the other prices will start trickling a little bit more so we can i don't know i think the the, the preferable target here should be around 350 for entry level uh, taking into account this is an uh, asrock motherboard uh, with the bare minimums here um i think it will be a, a, a good uh, a good value here for 350 with the, these three components uh components sorry um and thinking account is uh, 7600 non x uh, non x uh, the asus motherboard and 32 gigabytes of ram so they take this in account if you want even a little bit more cheaper like basically half the price on the ddr5 um probably uh, 16 gigabytes of ram should be enough for a very 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 entry level and last news here we got playstation showcase should be uh the, got a kind of a leak or rumor uh this guy jeff grubb uh before the game fest uh summer game fest thing uh they should be doing some showcase here we'll see how it goes we got the twitter here with the with the rumor here we will see how it goes and I'm going to wrap up for today with gaming deal, Marvel's Midnight Sun, half percent off, which is a very, very, very good deal. Uh, they've been launching and the, the DLC, uh, yeah, Morbius, I think was the last one, uh, like one week and a half ago. So but this is basically this is it. Uh, not much here, no drama, no nothing. Um, I will leave up here and I will see you in the next one. Hope you have a wonderful day. Till then, Konami Masarad.